Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I want to show you a very easy way on how to understand the lab mode in the curve adjustment in Affinity Photo to get better results for your photos in no time. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer, and I wanna thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like because this really, really helps my channel. And I want to invite you to join my Facebook group with over 4,000 active members where you can post the result of this tutorial and other tutorials, ask for feedback and other questions about photo editing. All right, let's get started with this tutorial. When you adjust the photo, and this is, by the way, this is how it originally looks when you download it from Unsplash. I will link this below the video too. You go down here to adjustments and there you have your curve adjustment. And if you know this adjustment, you know that this is automatically going into RGB mode, as it says down here, where we have our master channel, which is for brightness, darkness, and then you have the color channels like red, green, and blue. But we also have the lab mode, which is set to feel more natural. And in here, we have something that is a little bit strange because it says lightness, and then it says A opponent, B opponent, what is that? I wanna show you a very easy way to understand that. So I've created here, a gray rectangle that will help us see the colors a little bit better. So lightness, of course, is to make it brighter or darker. Now, when we have the A opponent and I push this here up, you can see that the picture is getting magenta. And when I push it down to the right side, it's getting green. This is the A opponent, magenta to green. Keep that in mind. Now here we have the B opponent, Let's see what happens here. I push this up, it's getting yellow. And I push it down, it is getting blue. So the B opponent is going from yellow to blue. Where have we seen this before? Well, actually, if you go here to adjustments and open up white balance, you will find exactly that going from blue to yellow in the white balance, and then going from green to magenta in the tint. So this is actually what A opponent, B opponent are doing. I would think naming it like that would make it a lot clearer, but now you know, and now you have a secret weapon on how you can quickly adjust your images. So let's hide the rectangle here, open up our curve again. And like I said, we are in the lab mode. So we can adjust the lightness a little bit. So you see here, this is a little bit dusty in the background, a little bit foggy. So I want to bring a little bit more contrast in here, make everything a little bit darker. So let's pull down over here until it feels good like so. Maybe over here also a little bit to the right side and that already looks pretty nice. Now here is the interesting thing that separates the white balance from the curve adjustment. Because what we can do here, especially with the B opponent, because here I don't want to change the tint, that's good. I want to change the warmth, but I want to change it differently for the shadow areas and for the light areas, because the shadow areas should be cooler and the light areas should be warmer. Now, if you remember, in our white balance adjustment, we do have these sliders, but there is no way to apply that to the darker or brighter areas of the pictures. We can't do that, but in lab mode, you can do that. So we go here to our B opponent, and then you can pull this down and you can see now that in the areas that are darker, for example, here, our blanket, which is in the shadow, this is getting more blue. And then up here, top right side of our square, this is where the brighter colors are living. I can push this up and you can see now that the landscape is getting nice and warm. So let's find a value that feels good. Like for example, this one. And then let's see here with the shadows, let's push this a little bit lower because I want to have this blanket here feel nice and cool. Everybody likes a cool blanket to sit on that on a hot day. So you can see that with these little tweaks, we have adjusted the image very easy and quickly. 
Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoy this and want to see more tutorials like that, think about subscribing to my channel and even hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload another video. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.